Hey everybody, what is up? It is Dakota here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a little tutorial on how to edit your lines.qrc file. And if you don't know what that is, it is a file on your firmware or on your custom firmware PS3, which is basically just the color of this background and your wave animation and shit like that. Mine's purple because that's I haven't edited anything yet. That's simple as that. But today I'm going to be showing you how to edit that. And yeah, everything you need down in the description. Just go ahead and download, install all that shit, and you're good to go. So, things you're going to need on your PS3, you're going to need an FTP server, either a bug toolbox or multi-man. I'm going to use rebug toolbox because it's easier in my opinion. So, for rebug toolbox, I'm going to open that up, and then we'll connect to it in FileZilla. Connect. Uh, oh, come on, you can do this. Come on. There you go. So, the only reason I use Rebug Toolbox is because I don't have to activate dev flash files or dev blind files. But if you use Multiman, you have to do that. So, I would just suggest using Rebug Toolbox because it's a lot easier. So, now that we are connected, we are going to navigate to dev underscore rebug. And if you're in Multiman, it's just going to be dev underscore blind, I believe. But everything after that is going to be the same. So, dev underscore rebug, VSH, resource. QGL. Let that give me a second. Okay. And then open up a folder where I have all my stuff for this. Take our lines.qrc file, drag it over. Come on. Fuck you doing here, FileZilla. There you go. Okay. Now that we have our lines.qrc file. We're going to open it up with HXG X Hex Editor Neo. Now that we have that, sorry, I was doing something. Now that we have that, we are going to select our first eight bytes, which would be 00 to 07. And this is where people screw up on YouTube. There are two regions of PS3s. You have NTSC and you have PAL. And they will just put a lines.qrc file for, say, an NTSC PS3 in the description. And all the PAL users will go and they'll try to put it on their PS3. But it'll end up soft breaking their PS3 because lines.qrcs are region locked for PS3s. So this is where my tutorial succeeds over others. You're going to copy these bytes and you're going to make... Sorry about that. You're going to make like a text document or some shit to put your bytes in. I'll just make a text document really quick or save that. And then you are going to actually delete those. So whatever is in your 8th spot here will now be in your 0th spot. So that 78 was in my 8th spot, now it's in my 0th spot. You're going to file save, save that. And now we can open up simply zip. Go to external prog, zlib pack slash unpack. Click this little thing, find our lines.qrc file. Make sure it's on decompress and then click start. So we'll finish decompressing it, and we don't need simply zip right now. So now what we are going to do is edit our line or our color settings in a Notepad plus plus, or a Notepad, whatever the fuck you want to do. And this is what you guys are going to see. So let me explain this really quick. For this one right here, there's right here these ones. That means it's the top half of your background. These twos means it's the bottom half of your background. Threes means it's the left half of your wave, and four means it's the right half of your wave. Now, these colors that are right here, red, green, red, green, blue. So, since this is a 1, there is going to be a red in the top half of my background from this one. And if I made that a 0, there is not going to be red in the top half of my background. There's just going to be green and blue. So, I want a black background. So, what we're going to do is copy that, hit Control F, go to Replace, paste it, paste it. Change that to a zero so it removes all call all red from the top half of my background. Then we're going to click replace all, and we're going to do that for everything else because when what happens when there's no color? No color means it turns means it turns black. So we're going to replace all of these at the top. Copy replace. Make that a zero again. Click replace all. Now there's going to be no blue no green and no red in the top half of my background 
So that means it's going to be black, and it's going to be a normal color at the bottom if I don't change any of this, but I am because, you know, fuck that. Fuck color. Man, black looks amazing. So replace, go to zero, replace all, again, and one more. Replace all, zero, replace. Okay, so, make sure these are either ones or they are zeros. Do not put decimals in their spots. Now these ones, you can put decimals in because there are already decimals here. But, when you do this, only edit the first two numbers. So 0, 0.0, example, you go 4.5. The higher the number, the more intense the color. So, for red, we are going to uh, put 7.7. .7, replace all of those. And remember, this is just, just what I'm doing. You guys don't have to follow my tutorial. You could just... I already told you the rules to this. You don't have to do what I'm doing. So, for green, on the right half of my wave, I'm going to make that a 7.7 .7 also. So basically what we have here is a red right or a red left half of my wave has an intensity of 7.7 .7, so it's going to be pretty intense and then we have no green or blue on the left half and then for the right we have no red we have a pretty intense green and no blue Now uh let's edit the brightness a little bit so we go down here to line 42 brightness is 0 0.7 we'll make that 1.0 And it's always fun to just screw around with this, see what colors you can get. But like I said, go ahead and make your own colors. Just as long as you made sure that you're only editing the first two numbers on these bottom six. And that these top ones are zeros or ones. So I have done everything that I want to do. So I'm just going to save it. Close out of this. Now we're going to open up lines in Hex Editor Neo. And then we are also going to drag our color settings.js over into lines or into hex editor Neo. Make sure your 23 is selected here and hit control plus A or command A if you're on a Mac. And you're going to copy it with control C, command C, or right click copy. And then you go back to your lines, go to 000039F0. And right here you will see hashtag menu. And if you go to color settings, you also see hashtag menu. So then make sure you're on this 23 and paste it. And as you can see right here, my dots go into dots. That's good. If your dots go into letters like they're down here or something or they're up here, you did it wrong. I'm just going to tell you that now. Go back, edit it again, do something else. You did something wrong. Go rewatch the video or something. But if it goes into dots, you're fine. You're good. Just hit file, save, and you're, you're set. So now you close out of that. And you go to your lines, and you actually you go to Simply Zip again. External prog zlib pack slash unpack. Click that little button, select your lines file, make sure it's on compress, and click start. Then it compressed it. Now we have a ZLP file. For this one, I'll just make a backup really quick, so we're going to rename it to dot orage. No, it's my original file. No, I don't want a comma there. I want a period dot orage so it's our original file it's not going to change anything or anything and we can just change this to lines dot qrc and that's not going to do anything like i said and now we're going to open up hxd which is another hex editor because hex editor neo does not allow you to re-add bytes you have to pay for it or some shit so we're going to go to lines dot qrc open up that go get our bytes that we had earlier Go back to this, make sure we are our cursor's in front of 78 or whatever your byte is, and then click Control V, Command V, paste, whatever, just paste it in there, and that 78 should now be under your 8th spot like it was before. Click File, Save, close out of that, close out of that, go back into your FileZilla, drag your lines.qrc file back over, and the most you want to see here in a byte change is probably about 30 or so. So I went back 20 bytes, so that's okay. Just don't go like overboard, but don't make it like 187,000 bytes. Just keep it around 185,000, and then you're set. You're fine. 
So then now we can close out of that, close out of that. Gonna open up our Hapodge capture again. And then we are going to just make sure this records so I can show you guys me backing out of our bug toolbox. And like I said, this changes. You don't have to restart your PS3 or anything. This will change right away. So now you guys see that. Gonna quit the game. And we're gonna let this load. And you can see my changed background. And there we go. You can see my changed background. Like I said, we have black at the top half, black at the bottom half, a very sort of intense red on the left, and a pretty intense green on the right. And whatever these two colors are, it will create a gradient to it. So it's not just going to put like a blue or some sh something here. It's going to create a gradient to the color. So, like I said, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And like the video, do whatever you want, all that jazz, and be sure to have a very good time.